No, you do not. You're okay. You're good. I'm used to being back here. So, Jolene, do you want to introduce who you all are, please? Good morning. My name is Jolene Dalton Gailey, and this is Bella Voce. Um, it is a, a newish group from the high school. This is our second year in existence. So, thank you very much for having us sing for you. The first song that we're going to sing is entitled Be Like the Bird. Jolene. Can I have everybody stand oh, up and wait, do the flag right. salute? Right. That's right. We have our program going, Joni and I just got a little crossy here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Paul, would you like to leave us this morning? Uh, Paul, would you like to lead us to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all? Would you all bring in standing, please? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the that it is a song about empowering young ladies to fly with the wings that they have. It's not a coincidence. This is called Be Like the Bird. Be like the bird that was in
over to the joy of Christmas. If you hear the, do the joy of Shmushmu, you'll understand that some said Yuletide and some sing Christmas. <laughs> now you're just <laughs> The joy of Christmas fills the air with words of love and cheer to you. Is that too low? That's good. 
help us in our meetings. Uh, it will be great. <laughs> <laughs> I grade on participation. <laughs> Here we go. Silence, <laughs> tonight it's free but don't um, you need to get there early because it fills up 7 30 yes and we would love to have you our last number is entitled angels we have heard on high <laughs> 
27 months in Mozambique. He'll be home in six days. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have a great time. Thank you so much for inviting us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you so ladies. much. Thank you. Good job. I would like you to introduce the volunteers that you have with you and tell their story really quickly. Nobody has to give okay, even can. half an elevator speech, but I if you would... Happy to, happy to. But, uh, Parker, Parker Stoops, Parker and Nancy, are you guys here? Where are you? There we go, okay. I want to make sure they're all here. How about, Stand up, Parker and Nancy. Well, I'm not going to, but I want to make sure. I know one, we're missing one. Dave Hamilton, here. Dave, show up. No, Dave is sick. He called me yesterday. Okay, yeah. And those are, okay, I'm going to start with Al and Rosalie Kamen right here. Um, Al and Rosalie have been with us, uh, I want to say, 10 years. Um, and Al came and taught me how to do neighborhood watches and community police. Uh, I have to admit, when I was newly elected sheriff, I was a little bit skeptical, but uh, he showed me in practice. We did some other things. And, Totally, completely invaluable in that regard. His lovely wife, Rosalie, I have never seen this young lady without a smile. She comes in and volunteers to help out for the most arcane things, but she's always there, always smiling, and it's such a pleasure to see her. So, Al and Rosalie, I think they're best friends. I'm <laughs> sure they're married. Okay, next on my list, George and Carol March. Another wonderful care, uh, couple. Um, George uh, came to us by way of Canada. Hey, hey, hey. George is a do anything guy. He is, I want to say, Lorraine's kind of right hand person along with his wife, Carol. Uh, they're awesome at setting up things like uh, um, safety fairs. Um, you'll notice when we do the home show every year, it's George that, and Carol that seem to set up the display. And 
take so much pride in putting up the, the jail bars. Here I have to pose behind the jail bars. And, and Carol, uh, Carol is another person with just the most lovely personality, and it's a pleasure to work with her. She's the, the face of our volunteers. Oh, that's right, and Project Lifesavers. Does everyone know what Project Lifesaver is? It is an awesome program that was essentially comes to us by way of a, of a grant from a, a very wealthy family that had <coughs> uh, track of one of their family members who I believe had Alzheimer's. And we use it for tracking um, uh, elderly people, um, younger people with developmental disab uh, disabilities. It's essentially a wrist. And if they, I mean, a wristband, and if they wander, we have antennas that will track them down. Particularly in, in the winter time, and with our harsh climate, sometimes if people wander, we only have, and best, a couple hours to find. Them. And we've done that. How many members do we have in that? Right now, we have ten. I think uh, uh, in Port Angeles has. Um, well, that's all from West, and then West. Swim has their own program. Okay. All right. And next, uh, Dave Hepner, I want to mention him. He isn't here. Dave Hepner um, delivers civil papers. And uh, he's probably delivered, uh, oh, I don't know, six or seven hundred a year. And that that's almost like getting a free deputy. So instead of our, our deputies um, doing it, it's, it's important. We have to do serving civil papers. And instead of that, our deputies can respond to that one time. Uh, Bill Carter, right here. Bill is our uh, senior Aries uh, volunteer. I, I see in my notes here that uh, he put in over a thousand hours in 2014. I mean, think about that. That's all free. That's uh, I mean, we're free to him. And, uh, uh, Aries is very important to us. Essentially, if the big one ever hits, it's probably going to be the ham radio folks that I'm going to go to to talk to Olympia or talk to Camp Murray to get ourselves resources. <coughs> okay, Parker and Nancy. They are search and um, rescue volunteers. I don't know if you're aware of it, but our search and rescue, which we do probably a dozen, sometimes more, a year, everything from rescuing people in the water to uh, rescuing people in the mountains. Um, is done by a volunteer organization. Uh, I have one sergeant who's more or less in, in charge of the whole thing that will show up, but it's easy to go out and find And they added a new thing. They rescue pets now. I think they've done two rescues where uh, somebody's pet dog went over the, 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 the one of them went down where it was 200 feet by the nation. So I want to thank them very much. And finally, Tim Richards, uh, he is our chaplain stand-up. Um, Tim has been with us uh, six years? Yeah, six. Okay, uh, I can remember that. Uh, chaplains are really an important part of any law enforcement organization. They serve two purposes. One is to advise our own people and keep them healthy. There's a lot of things that our deputies have to uh, see and, and be part of that they might need some, some counseling and some help. But the other thing is, is that um, too often we have to respond to what we call an unattended death, the death of a member of a family or something. And we quite frequently will call Tim out or one of the other chaplains to deal with a bereaved family to help them through those first moments. And it doesn't really matter if they're particularly religious or not. It's just someone who understands that and can help them. Um, Tim also writes uh, a monthly column, if you will, that uh, goes out to our uh, department members and talks about a lot of good stuff. So, have I missed anyone, Lorraine? You did a great job. That's our volunteers. We thank them so much. I don't think we could do what we do without them. Thank you. So now then, it's okay, we won't look. Brian Smith from the city of Port Angeles. Do you want to come up here? I probably should have given Bill the microphone also. Bill, he did. Bill does fine without the microphone. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, we've got uh, several of our volunteers here. Charles, why don't you stand up? Charles Devaney, uh, is I think our, our, our oldest in terms of time with Port Angeles Police Department volunteers, is that right? 17 years? Yes. Uh, so, Charles has a, has a great story, uh, comes to us from Chicago, uh, is involved in a variety of things, uh, government and politics there, Korean War veteran, um, was, was one of the original uh, people in our, in our program and has, you know, a lot to do with why we have, still have a, a program. He's been the coordinator, he's, uh, he's run the program, and he's been a lot of, you know, the original glue that, that kept us going. Um, so, thanks, Charles. You're welcome. Uh, You're welcome. Uh, the next volunteer that's, I think, the second in terms of time, um, Jim Walsh, is that right? Gary Marvin is the second. Oh, Gary, I'm sorry, yeah, sorry. Gary. Gary's 1998, like a month different, right? So, Gary, why don't you stand there up? There you go. July 1998, right, Gary? <coughs> um, it, it took him over a month to check me out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gary's, uh, Gary's a local uh, Port Angeles guy. Um, has lots of great stories about growing up here, uh, many of which the statute limitations are up now. So we can cover a month. Right. Uh, Gary's, Gary's another one that was the glue that, that got our program going, that, uh, that started, uh, you know, this volunteer cadre that we have. Um, everything, you know, special events, uh, anything and everything we need, you know, done with, uh, you know, a uniform presence at a, um, you know, special function. Um, the radar trailer of all these guys, um, traffic safety stuff. So I think you're, yeah, you're the second person. Thanks, Gary. I have to bring this up because Charlie was there, I think, a couple of weeks before I was. Interesting guy. He was POW during the Korean War wow. as a kid. And uh, I don't know, I have to bring that up. So, uh, Bob Amy. Bob's been with the volunteer. Uh, uh, program since December of 2002, and Bob, uh, like all our volunteers, that have interesting backgrounds. Bob's got a, a military background and uh, uh, some top secret stuff, transporting uh, nuclear stuff across the, uh, the interstates, right, Bob? Yes, sir. And right now he's our volunteer coordinator. Um, he's, he's another person that. Uh, that, that keeps our program going and has done anything and everything that our volunteers have done, you know, since since he started. Um, next to Bob is Jim Walsh. Jim's another original uh, volunteer with, with our program. Had a long career in Seattle with Boeing, and uh, Jim's. Uh, been involved in everything from Neighborhood Watch to uh, our special events, to our vehicle transports, to um, anything and everything that our volunteers do. And our volunteer program really runs itself. These folks uh, organize their own meetings. They, uh, you know, we give, them an we give them an assignment or ask them to do some work, and generally we don't have to think about it after that. They take care of it. Um, so. I think, I think I've got the original four guys, right, Jim, that are here? Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Um, so next, Daryl Reitz right here. Uh, Daryl's been with us since 2008, uh, recently retired from uh, from Nippon. Yeah. And um, you look a little too young to be retired, but <laughs> you guys are working. Um, Daryl's another face that you know we see him uh, regularly. Um, 
he, he's a, a person that very quietly takes care of, you know, uh, morning assignments, daytime assignments, specialty events. Um, one of these people that we can count on, and you know, we'll, hopefully, we'll, now that you retire, we'll have you have you have more time. Thanks. Thank you. And Scott Ferguson. Scott's one of our recent uh, volunteers, fall of 2014, uh, retired from the uh, sawmill business, right? Um, Scott does a lot of our vehicle transports, special events, uh, and again, anything and everything that we, we ask him to do. Um, Scott has put in year-to-date, I think, somewhere around 250 hours of the 2,000 hours that um, everybody's uh, worked so far. Um, so Scott, we're really glad to have you. And you're the youngest of the... <laughs> well, um, let's give these guys a... Uh, All of you volunteers as a business organization, it's our privilege and our pleasure to have you here. And I hope you recognize how thankful that we are in the community that you do this for fun. Thank you. You know, volunteerism is fun. You know that. You all know that, right? There's no responsibility with it. It's just fun. So I believe at this moment, I want to thank Stan and Ted for uh, hosting the choir. And just for all of you, from me, the next time there's a bond levy or a levy to build a school, remember what you saw here today and where your money goes, because that's, you know, that's a priority or should be in our life, I believe. So there we go. I would like our guests to go first into breakfast. So we're going to eat. I told you it's my rodeo. We're going to eat, and then we're going to come back and do the rest of our program. So thank you. And you know, you didn't talk about the lady, Bill, who helped you get so organized, and organized me. You know, as, as soon as I sat down, I realized that this is a terrible faux pas, and I beg the indulgence of the group, as well as Miss Lorraine Shore. Yeah, but who, Lorraine organized the two of us. <laughs> Lorraine is uh, absolutely indispensable. She's been with us for eight years. I, I can't believe it either. <laughs> um, and, and, uh, Lorraine comes to us by way of Anchorage Police Department, where she did a full career. She retired a lieutenant. She did everything. She ran their patrol, their investigative unit, their academy. Uh, so she knows how to shoot people. Uh, but she's doing a wonderful That's job awesome. right now keeping me straight. So once again, my apologies for not recognizing the wonderful job she did. Oh, it was so fun to catch you. to volunteers for us. <coughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So if you just all, the buffet is ready. At the beginning of last year, I handed out a blue piece of paper asking all of you to define goals for PABA in the year 2015. I never told you as members how you had all responded, but I used those blue pieces of paper through the year to set my goals and test my guidelines. Increasing membership was the number one concern of all of you. But it was, the plan was for everyone to recruit one new member. Our membership numbers remain the same, but we have over 10 new members, so we've done really well. At a time when all organization membership was fallen, we've held the course. My friend Jack, who isn't here this morning, I don't know what happened to Jack, after we redid the member app, membership application, even joined. We have a new information letter that tells our story that you'll see later in the morning of who we are and what we do. It will help us when we invite folks to be our guests at meetings to understand who we are and what we have accomplished. A huge thank you to my friend Laurel Black. She did the work for me as a favor, and we are paying her with a complimentary membership for next year. Thank you, board. As an association, we have written letters and spoken at the Port of Port Angeles, City of Port Angeles, Clallam County, Forks, Olympia, 
Even the county charter review heard from us. Thank you to Harryville's committee, and thank you to Kai and Dick Pilling for being my ghostwriters with all letters. Also on the list was the awareness that we needed to reach out to the Downtown Association and the Chamber of Commerce to keep supporting them as well as extending to them our support as they work to regroup. We have done that. Andrew has worked as our chamber rep most recently, a full day workshop at Peninsula College dedicated to, cha to the chamber redefining itself. Josh Rancourt, president of the Downtown Association, has been here as our guest, and I've gone to their board meetings to keep the lines of communication open and to let both organizations know that we support them. We even wrote a letter to BNO Tax, thank you guys again to help the Downtown Association with b &O tax rebate. We started a bylaw review, as suggested on my blue paper. One non-related efficiency change we made was reading the board minutes, thank you, Paul, the next meeting day and approving them, <coughs> thus making the board and members communicating in a more timely way, thus disallowing the six weeks lapse in time from a board meeting to when it was approved and you all got to hear about it. George was my vice president, and he and I had a difficult time with the structure of the bylaws, how the president and the vice president worked together, so we made, we went back to the traditional way, and if you do a bylaw <coughs> revision, I think George and I would agree that that would be a good change. George was gracious and supportive, and it worked well. The big one that everyone had a comment about was communication with members. We hired Roxy to do a website. It was a vast improvement. We worked to get information about speakers and events posted in a timely manner. We as members have not done a good job of getting our information and taking advantage of the site. Community-wise, we've supported Stephanie Noblin with her vol volunteer, there you go, that word again, her volunteer recording of all the public meetings. We are purchasing an improved camera for her, and at the end of each production, of each production, PABA will be given credit or recognized as the organization who did that. And everyone commented, everybody commented on the need for our speaker announcement to be in the paper each Sunday. Andrew and I co-chaired guest speaker programs this year. If you've never been in charge of guest speakers, you don't know the half of it. They cancel on Friday. Heavens, they cancel on Monday for a Tuesday morning. Friday, week. Friday would be enough time. <laughs> yeah, you know, they don't talk about the topic that they said they were going to talk about. They don't have equipment that matches ours. Why, why would I think to bring an extension cord for their computer? You know, but anyway, they're late. And then, after it's all said and done, you as members get to harass about the topics that you want and the special interests that they are to you, even if nobody else wants to hear it. Because I hear from that side, too, as chair of uh, guest speakers, don't we, Andrew? And, then, and it's all just a really humongous balancing act for the speakers, and then you add in the mix of the PDN, but John knows how to handle that next year. I've hand-delivered the announcements, I've emailed the announcement, and I personally call. And Sunday morning I go out and get the PDN, and I open it to see what my score for the week is. <laughs> so my message to all of you as members, if you've never been in charge of guest speakers, hush. <laughs> So at the end of my term as president, to all of you who have been here week in and week out, I want to thank you. We are an, or an association organized and maintained by memberships and volunteer time. As members, the more supportive you can be with the time to assist the committees and your board, the stronger we will become. Instead of your telling your president how he or she should be doing the job, all of the things wrong with the job they're doing, I heard that. Just ask the question, what can I do to help? It would be greatly appreciated. We meet every week 
We're current with community challenges. We are listened to and respected as the Port Angeles Business Association. As I've said to you all many times, we're small, but we're mighty. It's been my privilege and my honor to represent all of you this past year. And I have some fun <coughs> gifts now. So, if you'll just humor me for a minute as I get organized one more time. Every week I come in here, and I can't lift this, and I'm not going to. I may be small, but I'm not that mighty. So people like Stan and Ted Simpson have uh, put this together for me. Uh, so this is just, you know, Don Cherry. These, these are the quiet little mics that have helped me make a better every week. <laughs> so, rolling along, I happen to know that George, where's George? He's eating. The George is a gourmet cook, and this is the best thing ever, and only George would appreciate it. Thank Black you. truffle oil. Thank you. <laughs> so, here I go, here I go. Oh, John, you're next on the stack. My, my treasurer, who was absolutely invaluable this year, kept me on task. We had some IRS issues, and we just kept plotting through, but we made it. So, John, here's some colored pencils for you. <laughs> no no <laughs> red. <rest. laughs> oh, this is so much fun. My ghost writers. Dick Helling, I have some really good cookies for you. And Stay away. We're, there's Kai. Kai, I have the best ice cream sauce for your boys ever. Thank you. Okay, Andrew, some more for your boy. Oh, there we go. As if they need sugar. Thank you. No, but you've all, all helped me all year long. <laughs> In good humor, where's Jack, outgoing president, who drove me nuts sometimes. <laughs> that was the most fun one. <laughs> okay, so, my dog. And I know one thing for certain, you want a favor from Peggy? Fire chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, you heard her. Oh wow, you know. And Harry has maple syrup, but he couldn't be here this morning. Okay. Oh, where's D? D. She's up. D. 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 Would you come here for a minute, just like that? A small thank you from all of us for all of our idiosyncrasies and how good you did. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Paul, come and read the minutes of last week's minutes. Please, thank you, sir. You have to stand right here. I have to go through this whole thing just for a minute. Paul Cooper has been our secretary for 17 years. <coughs> Paul has been secretary under Jerry Austin, Alan Bentley, Tony Griffith, Jack Robert, Stan Purcell, Jerry Hoxwell, Andrew May, Orville Campbell, Don Madison, Craig Johnson, Jerry Smithson, Ted Simpson, Ty Albert, Dick Schilling, Don Perry, Jack Robert, and myself. So if you multiply an average of 47 times 17, somebody with a really good math background, tell me how many sets of minutes you've written, Paul. 900. 900. 900. So his dedication to this organization and being here every Tuesday morning is without <coughs> a really big commitment to the things we do. I would like all of the past presidents that are in the room today to please stand up. If you can. Sorry. Let's start with you, Ted. Uh, 
Well, I'd just like to thank all of the volunteers who are here this morning and the ones that are. You people do a hell of a job to keep the community together, keep it safe. Uh, and I, I, I personally really appreciate the time that you give uh, our community support to all of us. Uh, and I got Special thanks to my friend Daryl. Uh, just retired. Uh, used to run around with my kids. <laughs> and he's always been active in the community. Uh, and I'm sure glad he's going to play that way. Now that I'm Paul. You have to tell how important he was to you when you were president. Yeah, wow. Uh, you know, uh, takes a, a real, real committed person to, to be as dedicated as Paul has been to this organization and to all of, all of us. Uh, he does an excellent job of keeping notes. Uh, Ed left some of the math out, not only in uh, their meetings every week, but in some cases too with the board meeting uh, so he's uh, you can add a couple hundred more of your 900 uh, uh, and thank you very much paul for your you're very well thank you Dick Pelling. when uh, edna told me that uh, he was going to quit i said uh, tell him no that uh, <laughs> <laughs> the slaves can't quit they've got to be sold <laughs> so, <laughs> Then I, I look at this as a real blot on your record, <laughs> because PABA, you know, should be part of Grand's Business Association, but it's actually Paul has always been there, and and now he won't. He provided the institutional memory for our group for many, many, many years, and institutional memory is important because you you got to know where you've been in order to know where you're going to go. And so he has done that for us. So uh, it, is, it is going to be our loss. I'm sure we'll manage to get along, but it won't be as easy and it won't be as much fun. Jerry? It was always a pleasure to come to a meeting and get a smile and a handshake from Paul. He's, he's, uh, he was always there and always did an outstanding job. I couldn't, couldn't have got along without him. I really appreciate it, Paul. Thank you. John? What they said? All of what they said, plus, Paul was, uh, I joined when Paul first started as secretary. I've known no other secretary in this organization. 17 years he's been doing these meetings, and if you look back at all the minutes that this man has taken, and you look at the meetings, you can relive every one of those meetings verbatim. He has it exactly as the meeting is. To me, a secretary, that's his responsibility, because when you look back in the history of Port Angeles Business Association, this is the person who did it all and showed us what went on. And so you can't beat a guy like Paul. Peggy, you've got a real job ahead of you. You know, you and I substituted for him for a couple of times, and I can't believe you actually volunteered to be secretary after all that. Uh, but you can't, you're not going to replace Paul. We're not going to try and replace Paul. Peggy will do a wonderful job, and I'm sure she'll be looking forward to it. Paul is looking forward to retirement, and uh, I'll guarantee you, we'll, we will miss Paul. There's no question about it. Jack? Mr. Cougar, good job. Thank you, Jim. Healthy course, you are the gold standard, <laughs> which you've done faithfully, steady on, for 17 years. This organization, for sure, is very indebted to you. Thank you very, very much. And by the way, the legacy that you're leaving is going to be picked up by Harry Bell, which has all been kept for all those years. It's going to be picked up, put into storage. For the time being, we'll figure out what we do with it. Thank you. Stan. Paul, <laughs> neighbor, thank you. Thank you for being a good neighbor. But thank you more for being here every day we need you. Anytime we need to check his record, have him right there. He can go probably back to the beginning. Take him maybe a couple hours, but he'll do it. So there's nothing that he won't do. I mean, he'll back there and set that thing up for 
Jack and I try to help him because he's getting older. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> Takes three of you. Uh, we really appreciate you very much. Thank you much. Very well. Thank you. Kai? Okay. Paul, you are secretary already when I joined PABA. Uh, you have been the one constant point in this organization during my entire time here as a member, as a board member, as president. You've been a bedrock of this organization. You've been a fixed point that I could always look to when I was president. When I needed anything about the institutional memory of the organization, I needed to know who had been on the board for how long or whether a certain resolution had been voted on or not and on what month that had happened. You're always there. Your unfailing good humor, accuracy in doing your job every day uh, was just invaluable. The tools that would be really hard to fill. Thank you so much. Andrew, do you You're want welcome. to come up this direction, or do you want to do everything from there? Um, I'll sit down here and then go up there. So first of all, I want to echo uh, past President Ted's comments. I think it's just really great that this organization <laughs> has chosen to rotate around um, honoring our first responders. It's really great to not only see but to um, recognize those people who in any time of diversity keep our community safe. Dick, I want to definitely agree with you and as a parliamentarian I want to call a point of order. I know that I made a motion years ago to have Paul be Secretary Emeritus for life and he was very much alive to me. I thank him so just say no. But, but with that and we've heard one of the things that I really um, appreciated was it wasn't just the minutes. The adjectives, adverbs, the language used really did capture the essence of the meeting. So not only were we reminded what we did, but on those times that we had to go back to see something very detailed, um, absolutely to the point of the meeting was captured. And as a parliamentarian, I have witnessed his entire career, unanimous vote to accept the minutes. That is really good in an organization like ours. <laughs> get into things a little bit. So with that, Paul, thank you so much. Thank you. Struggled and restruggled struggled what we were going to do, what we were going to say goodbye, thank you to Paul for it. So all of you past presidents who were standing up just remember what we decided on. This is yours. You can, that's our gift. You have to open it and read it. <laughs> Please, I have to do everything. <laughs> You're good at reading. I know that. I want you to read it. Thank you, Paul Cooper, for 17 years plus of membership and dedication to the Port Angeles Business Association, December 2015. This certificate entitles you to a day of yard work by the members and past presidents of the Port Angeles Business Association. Date and time to be mutually agreed upon by, uh, by myself, uh, Andrew May, uh, President Andrew Peterson, and all the appreciative members. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, so with that said, I'll um, arrange to come over and uh, visit your property sometime in the next few weeks, probably let the holidays go by, um, see what the workload would be, what you'd like done, and then come to the membership, and uh, through a day of work and tools and brawn, I think that we can uh, uh, definitely make a big impact. <laughs> do quite a lot of uh, hard grunts labor to repay you back for all, repay you back for a tiny fraction of what you dedicated to us. So, uh, when you see what has to be done, you might change it. Got a lot of challenge. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, do you want to say anything? Uh, I'll just say a few words. Uh, thank you very much for this. I, I don't think I deserve all, all these accolades. Uh, but it's been my pleasure to be the secretary of this organization. Uh, I, I chose to do this because I don't volunteer anyplace else. And so this was my contribution not only to PABA, but to the uh, business community as well. And I think I walked away with uh, more uh, than you did. Uh, 
the body is. So um, again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. After your retirement, you'll be back. <laughs> so now then, you Paul. You're welcome. Hey, Jack, are you organized? Did I? Jack is now going to do installation of officers for next year. Yes. Okay. I'm so thrilled for all of you. <laughs> all of the people that are in the room that were unanimously voted upon and approved at last week's meeting. For next year's officers, please come up to the front up Bill here. Bill Kitchell, John Welcome. Brewer. John Brewer, Kitchell, Peggy Norris, John Figger, Bergner, Albert, and Mr. Feely, who is not here. Mm -hmm. John gets the red man the podium. Why don't you slide in front of the podium? There you go. Who's taking pictures here? Yeah. Sure. Somebody grab that. Hey, you turn it on. Press the little one. And then the big one after it cooks. The little one, then the big one. Yeah, press the little one. There you go. There you go. Stephanie, right. thank you for taking pictures. <laughs> so, good grief, look at that. Yeah, look at them. You folks are going to be living a legacy that's now going on to its 35th year here. So, with that in mind, I have here. Uh, envelopes with the president's hat of this organization for putting in your files and carrying this forward. And with it goes the congratulations of being nominated to carry on this organization for 2016. So we'll start with John Brewer. Thank you very much. Here's Phil Ketchell. Thank you. Here's Peggy Norris. John Pegger. And this is. George Bergner and Ty Alford, yeah. and Bill Keeley, and Thank you very much. Okay, okay everybody, back. let's pose this. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Get one for the picture, because this is the one that goes, goes to the paper. Well, you got the camera on. Oh, you got the camera on. Right. Okay. Okay. Each and each song go. Perfect. Good. Got it. <coughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more time. Oh, we voted on these yesterday. They were they will be all of yours to hand out if you recruit new members. I charge you with doubling the numbers by next year. So uh, I'll hand it out now. You can you can next November, right now, is what you see is what you get against the boss. And uh, sure you can have this side. And John will be putting these in the invoices as they go out this year. And if you have any prospective members, and of course all you volunteers here can join us. We'd love to have you. We're vibrant, we're energetic. But this is who we are and this is what we did. And well, again. There. <laughs> Just not working. And I think that Josh is in it, so you should be happy now with me, Guy. Absolutely. No, I love Thank you. So, do I have a motion to end this meeting? Paul will make that motion.